Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Warren County Fiscal Court. We're now in a session Thursday, February 8th, 2024. And we're excited to have Bridget Gross with us, the Executive Director of Christian Family Radio. is going to lead us in an invocation, and that's going to be followed by the Pledge to the Flag by Esquire Tom Lawrence. Good morning. Such a privilege to be with you this morning. Um, an honor the way that you serve us. Thank you for the legacy that you build on. Equally, thank you for having ambition and innovation to lead us well. It is my honor to intercede for you. God, you're sufficient. We are absolutely elated today to yield to your authority, reflecting your creativity to trust in being made complete, comforted to be like-minded and to operate in peace. Today, there's situations that need your compassion, your grace, your creativity, caring for this community optimally. You're the creator, therefore there's nothing impossible or too daunting for you. You made cooperation and innovation, so would you release that today in extra measure for these servants? May every conversation be one of cooperation for the betterment of our community. I pray for clear, keen minds, goals to be superseded that result in authentic service. I pray that these that are here work together earnestly in kingdom honor. I pray for smooth transitions and swift, necessary transformation. Let the ears in this room hear you and know you. May you, the God of peace, reside in bounty here and be revealed first and foremost. May our community be stronger so that our neighbors benefit because we're committed to good stewardship. I trust your eternal promises and that you, the God of love and peace, will be here because you brought these servants together. I pray these things in the authority, in the victorious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please stand, face the flag, and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Bridget. Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Here. Esquire Williams. Here. Esquire McWhorter. Esquire Lawrence. Here. Esquire Aldridge. Here. First item approved of the minutes the fiscal court meeting on January 25th, 2024. Motion by Squire Cummings. Second by Squire McWhorter. Any corrections? Let's go roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Item five, approved personnel changes for Warren County. Motion by Squire Lasley, second by Squire Lawrence. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire yes, McWhorter. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Next item is approved the work schedule for the Warren County Road Department. Motion, Motion by Squire Lawrence, second by Squire Lasley. Discussion or questions? Please call roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Next item is approved second and final reading of Ordinance 2404, <laughs> rezoning property located at the northwest corner of the intersection of Veterans Memorial Lane and Morgantown Road from single family residential and highway business to highway business containing approximately 5.813 acres and presently owned by Michael and Tammy Causey. Motion by Squire Aldridge, second by Squire McWhorter. Discussion and questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Items 8, approved second and final reading of Ordinance 2405, rezoning property located on the southeast side of Stony Point Church Road, approximately 860 feet south of the CSX Railroad from agriculture to rural residential, containing approximately 6.00 acres and presently owned by Keith Marr. Motion. Motion by Squire Lawrence, second by Squire Aldridge. Discussion or questions? 
Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire yes, McWhorter. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Item 9 is approved second and final reading of Ordinance 2406, rezoning property located at 6463 Louisville Road from residential estate to general business containing approximately 0.73 acres and presently owned by Sunburst Dreams LLC, care of Jill Moore and Salem Lockhart. Motion by Squire Aldridge, second by Squire McWhorter. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Item 10 is approved second and final reading of Ordinance 2407, rezoning property located at 8571 Nashville Road from agriculture to townhouse multifamily residential and general business containing approximately 9.85 acres and presently owned by Veronica Poteet. Motion. Motion by Squire Cummings, second by Squire Aldridge. Discussion or questions? Let's call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Item 11 is approved the easement for a school bus turnaround at 242 Nina Miller Road. Motion by Squire Lasley, second by Squire Lawrence. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Item 12 is approved the 2023 property tax receipts for oil, limestone, sand, and gravel from the Warren County Sheriff's Office. Motion by Squire Cummings, second by Squire Aldridge. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Item 13 is approved first reading of Ordinance 2408, authorizing a lighting agreement between Warren Rural Electric Cooperative Corporation and Carter Crossings, Unit 3. Okay. Motion by Squire McWhorter, second by Squire Aldridge. Just for questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Item 14 is approved first reading of Ordinance 2409, authorizing a lying agreement between Warren Rural Electric Cooperative and McClellan Crossing, Section 3, Phase 1. Motion. Motion by Squire Cummings, second by Squire Aldridge. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Item 15 is approved amended and restated workforce coordinator agreement with the City of Bowling Green and the Bowling Green Area Chamber of Commerce for an additional two years through February 28, 2026, and the amount of 35000 annually and authorized judge executive to sign all related documents. Motion by Squire Alder, second by Squire McWhorter. Discussion or questions? <coughs> Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Meredith, you're off the hook, so thank you for coming this morning. That's right. Appreciate the hard work, too. Item 16 is approved determination of Arnold Consulting Engineering Services in the amount of $3,975 for design and engineering work for the Jody Richards Safe Room as a professional service vendor. Motion. Motion by Squire Lawrence, second by Squire McWhorter. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Item 17 is grant authority for the Parks Department to advertise for bids for mowing and trimming, mulch, pest control, and vending machines. Motion. Motion by Squire Lasley, second by Squire McWhorter. Discussion or questions? Let's call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Item 18 is approved determination in the amount of $6,564.62 to Tri State International for replacement of all injectors and injector rails and update the computer system for the road department. This is a single source vendor. Motion by Squire Lasley, second by Squire Aldridge. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. 
Item 19 is approved determination amount of $16,400 to rental ceiling and striping for parking lot ceiling and striping on a lower lot at Buchanan Park. This is state contract pricing. Motion by Squire McWhorter, second by Squire Lasley. Discussion or questions? Please call roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Item 20 is approved December 2023 canteen fund report for the Warren County Regional Jail. Motion, Motion by Squire Aldridge, second by Squire Cummings. Good morning, Lynette. <laughs> Discussion or questions? <laughs> Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Item 21 is approved the resolution 2403 executing the joinder agreement with Kentucky Public Employees Deferred Compensation Authority. Motion by Squire Aldridge, second by Squire Cummings. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Item 22 is approved the resolution 2404 fair housing resolution. This is a resolution requested by Barron River Area Development District for the Men's Addiction Recovery Center Community Development Block Grant. Motion by Squire Aldridge, second by Squire Lawrence. Any discussion or questions? Matt, thank you for being here today. Please call roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Item 23 is approved resolution 2405 implementing guide form residential anti displacement and relocation assistance plan under section 104D of the Housing and Community Development Act of 1974 as amended. This resolution was requested by Brad for the Mark Community Development Block Grant. Motion by Squire Alders, second by Squire McWhorter. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. And finally, item 24, approved resolution 2406, adopting Title VI plan for equal opportunity and non discrimination. That's a resolution by Brad for the Mark Community Development Block Grant. Motion by Squire Williams, second by Squire Lasley. Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Item 25 is approved lease agreement with the Divis Division of Real Properties and Public Advocacy in the amount of $82,551.32 annually for a three year term ending June 30th, 2027. Of course, this is for lease space at the Justice Center. Motion by Esquire. Lastly, second by Squire Williams. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Item 26 approved lease agreement with the Division of Real Properties and Unified Prosecutorial System in the amount of $69,861.12 annually for a three year term ending June 30th, 2027. Motion by Squire Lawrence, second by Squire Williams. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Item 27 is approved a lease agreement with the Division of Real Properties and EEC Office of the Secretary in the amount of $0 annually for a three year term ending June 30th, 2027. Motion by Squire Alder, second by Squire McWhorter. Question or discussion? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Treasurer, please report the claims. General Fund, $851,980. Road Fund, $276,779. Jail Fund, $389,722. Stormwater Fund, $52,680. LGEA Fund, $500. And ARPA Grant Fund, $14,422. Do you have to answer any questions? Motion to pay the claims. Motion by Squire Cummings, second by Squire Aldridge. Discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. 
All right, Sheriff Hightower. Everything, everything good in your world. It is. That's great. Miss Yates. First of all, I'd like to apologize for being late. You're not. You were not late. You just were on your world. We're in your world. Uh, but I did want to give you some good news. I was actually on the phone with our vendor for our election equipment, Harp, and they actually told me that our machines are finally in Kentucky. They are in Lexington. <laughs> And they hope to get them shipped to us by the end of next week. So we do have, we will have those for this upcoming election, which I think is going to be great for us to get that extra training before November. Also, my last thing, I would like to thank Esquire Aldridge and his family. They actually were so kind to bring our office lunch last week and there was so much obviously she's used to cooking for a lot of people so we had such an abundance uh we were able to share it with the whole courthouse so uh everyone got those great little sorry i don't think you were here you were in frankfurt but um we did enjoy that and i'd like to thank you it really the staff loved it so thank you very much i got one question how, how are we doing with our our messed up system downstairs <laughs> Well, wow. let's don't talk about that. Wow. Actually, you know, it is getting a little bit better. Um, they're doing fixes weekly, um, sometimes twice a week, for bug fixes that we call. Um, most of our processes for as far as renewals, things like that, those are working seamlessly pretty much. It is taking us twice as long, but it is what it is on that for right now. Um, a lot of our transfers that we're doing for dealer work and things like that, it is, we're still having a lot of problems with that. So it's, you know, they're working through it. I do have a meeting next week in Frankfurt, so we'll see what they have to say. Thanks for the update. You're right. welcome. Thank you. Yep. Thank you all. Thank you, Lynette. It's Jailer Harmon. He's on here today. Mr. Comer here today. <clears throat> Travels and packs. I, I would like to introduce a very good young man right here. This is Mason Allison. Mason is an architectural design a student from Western Kentucky University. I've known Mason for a long time. He started out with us working at Fillmore Park. You may have seen him on the river down on Drake's Creek. He and his brother and family run a, a, a local livery service. They do a great job. Um, and Mason is going to intern with us this spring. And his big project is... Um, he is going to help us internally uh, design and, and begin architectural plans for some of the items that we presented last week uh, for our three to five year capital project plan. Uh, he has a skill set which is absolutely unbelievable. Some of the projects he's worked on um, at, in, at Western are just remarkable and uh, we're really, I feel really blessed to have him as our spring intern. So great. he's going to do a great job and hopefully here in the next uh, couple months he'll be bringing some really cool stuff back to you all so he can present that uh, and I think it'll be a great a great experience for him. That's awesome, Mason. Thank we look you. forward to working with you. That's fantastic. So. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the help you're going to provide for the county. So that's great. That's awesome. Mr. Moore. Hello, Holly. How was, how was your world? Everything good, I'm sure. Great. That's good. Ronnie? Thank you, sir. You got it. That's, that's exactly right. I see Ben Peterson back there. That's fine. So all good. We'll have, some, uh, we'll, have some, we'll have some interesting things with Ben here in the next month or two we're looking forward to. So thank you for that as well. Squire McWhorter? It's all good. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Squire Aldridge. Thank you, Judge. I'm good. What did what did Ellen make for everyone? You would put, you would I say you would put me on the spot to remember. It was a beautiful chicken salad and her oatmeal that her oh, favorite for the cookies. Sounds, yeah. they, they always go above and beyond. They did. Well, if they could go above to the second floor occasionally. <laughs> because, uh, well, they no, are, that's they, fantastic. They, they are I'm listening in. So no, I know. I'm kidding. I am kidding. I'm kidding. That's great. So it's, a menu. that's a great thing. You know, uh, we, we said it before, but we appreciate every every uh, county employee. The clerk's office has had their hands full. Uh, sometimes, you know, we can mess things up our own, but when someone else does it for it's even harder. And so the 
Uh, the patience I appreciate from the state changing this, but uh, those uh, that her entire office has worked hard and continue to work hard. So, Squire Cummings. I just want to say thanks again to all the department heads last week for their yeah. vision and sharing of their information and so forth. And I, I look forward to all of us helping accomplish the goals that they all have. So, thank them again for their service. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Squire Williams. Fingers getting better. Man, I'm telling you what, he's like back to bionic man. He's back to new. It's, it's crooked, but it's better. <laughs> uh, I'd just like to say happy birthday this week to my friend uh, across, the, across the way from me over here who's celebrating a big number, but we won't, we won't say that. Rex, happy They're birthday. They're all big now. Yeah. <laughs> and my grandson, my youngest grandson, his first birthday is today. Yeah. How about that? So, Number one. Birthday, That's good. Yeah. Well, probably need a car or something like that to get him something good. So, <laughs> Squire Lawrence. I'll just say happy birthday to Rex. Tell him. He's a buddy of mine. Hope he has a good one. Maybe, uh, maybe the Aldridge family can get something for you as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very thank you very much mr. treasurer thank you judge mm, good miss Milliken the Bowling Green High School cheerleaders Ooh, loaded yes. a bus yesterday they're in, in Orlando today they compete Sunday and Monday and and um, also I think South Warren's going I think Greenwood's going so lots of um, young ladies in Orlando representing Bowling Green and Warren County very well and we wish them all the best of luck and on a personal note, go purples. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, that's that's fantastic. We love when they do that. Ms. Cummings. Thank you, Judge. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judge. Downey. That's great. Yep. Thank you. We. Uh, I, I do want to thank the entire uh, uh, management team of Warren County. We had a great meeting last Friday and very informative, and it really helps. Uh, the first process, Greg and myself, to start working on some things, and then through the magistrates, and then through the whole county about uh, some great future ideas that we have and some things that we need to do to continue to improve uh, Warren County and the services that we provide the citizens. So I appreciate greatly everyone's input on that. That was a fantastic day, and, and I do appreciate again, as I said there, appreciate uh, staff up here for putting that together. They did a great job. So we look forward to all that. There's a lot of great things happening, and. Bowling Green and Warren County, so I hope everyone uh, has a safe uh, safe rest of February, a happy Valentine's Day early. Is that why you wore the red? Absolutely. That's what I figured. Um, either that or rooting for the Chiefs this weekend or something. I don't know, so it's good. But uh, appreciate everyone's hard work, and we're uh, exciting things ahead, that's for sure. So with that, a motion for adjournment. Squire Lawrence, thank you for that. We are adjourned.